It's you not. It's not like you only get one check a month. And you know somebody you know somebody's talking like sometime a month. month. You, you only have to cut something somewhere. Yeah. Just like we. But let me just t- like yeah. I, I I don't understand it. My mother has been on drugs forever. Like I said, I'm thirty. When are you gonna change? She don't want to change. There's a bunch of addicts, so I feel and there's like addicts, whatever. And then there's people who just smoke weed to mellow themselves out. That's how I look at it. So one of mm-hmm. my thing is, um, where do you, where does it, where do you get to the stage where it becomes uncontrollable? Because you can be function a function addict, but then it has to come to a, a stage where as though it's uncontrollable. No, it's not because yeah. functioning addicts will get up and go to work every day. They have a job. Yeah, but they go to work every though, day, right? but they can do it for years and still yeah. and still get high. And maybe it's not that they're not an addict. No, yes, they are. They're called a functioning addict. They function yeah, in everyday right. life. They they can function. They can go to work. They, they can hold a right conversation. Me. You know what I'm saying? They can hold a conversation. They say, "I'll be right back." Do you know there were doctors sniffing dope and and popping them? That's right. And they're functioning addicts. Smoking crack. And can right go back, back and do heart surgery. surgery? Okay. Yes. 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 Right at Saint Elizabeth, girl, yes. please. And um, it's, and it's everywhere. But that doctor just happened to get caught huh. a couple of years ago. Yeah. They do it. They're functioning addicts. Functioning addicts. You got nurses, doctors, some more shit that go. You know, they're functioning addicts. My you father is not a functioning me. addict. Like even Uncle Ricky, he's a dope fiend, but that he can hold a job. My mother cannot hold a job. Ask my mother when's the, when's the last time she. If she even had a paycheck, ever. I doubt it, because all the jobs that my mother ever got, she was working under the table. My mother has never even accumulated money to get taxes, to be able to get some social security, anything. At all. So I'm like, you know. And all the fact that I know how to even work through jobs, too, it was, and it was either through a program or something where they had to be there um, due to their work order or yeah. something like mm-hmm. that. Oh, my mother did it. She she was working at um some hot dog place, but she went there one day and never went back. She couldn't even get up because you know they 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 binge all night and then in the morning they want to sleep all day. To the next night, nah. Mm-hmm. No, I don't understand it, but I just didn't want. I don't want to fall in that same pattern. Um, I mean, my grandmother you, always told me. Off, but how do you keep having kids and you're a crackhead? And then you have over five, four, up to nine kids, but you don't have another one. Why are you continuing to still have I kids? don't know, because it was a time I thought my mother was pregnant, and I think I was like 11, and I went off. I was like, you're pregnant? Because her stomach was big, and I've never seen my, stomach, my mother with a big stomach up until now, in her older age. But back then, she always had a body. You couldn't even tell my mother was a fan unless you knew her. And she was like, you know, um, she... She, she just had a big ass stomach and I was like, are you pregnant? And she was like, why? What if I am? So, you know, I'm thinking she's pregnant and I just went on one like, you ain't never took care of me and my brother. How you gonna have another baby? How you gonna do that to us? You never ever ever took care of us, but you gonna have another baby? You plan on taking care of him? And you know, just everything. I just went off like, yeah, because how the hell did you do that? You have, every, you have every right to, though. You know, because she hasn't been involved. Do you know I had to go find my money? I was not, yeah, I told nice. her, I, I told her, when I seen her one year, she was like maybe seven or eight, I pulled her to the side, I knew she looked exactly like me, I knew, I knew who she was. She have contact with her other siblings? She do, but as I explained to her when I took her in, that's just like me taking you in, mm-hmm. my family is dysfunctional. Mm-hmm. I explained that to her from jump. Right. It's not how you was raised. They don't know nothing about right. love, right. comedy, they come in unity. They don't know nothing right. about that. Okay? It's not how I how I do my house. It's not how they do their house yeah, over there. Exactly. So I'm letting you know this. Your mother is still off on the side. So if you need anything, just how you found me and I came and I and I got you, you just keep on coming to me. That's right. So then she they all 
everybody all unites or whatever, whatever. They get up and she starts coming around more. So then she was living with me and some stuff went down and she had to end up leaving. And then she was staying with my mom for a while and she ended up meeting a little boyfriend. Her now, her and her boyfriend's married. They got two kids. She got her own apartment. She's doing more for herself already than what her, her mother, mother was ever did. And see, that's exactly why I told you my mother wrote me that letter when I started messing with Kenny because she's seen that I only knew him for the summer and he was doing everything for me, more for me than she's ever did my whole 21 years being on this earth. Do I remember what the letter? I told you. Okay, we're going to come back. Okay, we're back. And Nina was saying. I was saying about you the letter. Know, that I, you know, I mentioned the letter before. And she mentioned and it, but I, I wasn't paying attention because there was so slow. much in the crossfire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, so um, much in the crossfire <laughs> of them. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like because it's, I, haven't ex I haven't experienced that with my mom. You know, but what about the moms that are in denial with the men that they're with? You know what I'm saying? How 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 does that affect the child? You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, my 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 situation was we knew he was my mom, you know, but we knew he, the person she was with. We knew he was using, you know what I'm saying? Um, but still, it was like he's not he's not. I don't know if she believed that he wasn't, you know, or she was trying to make us believe that. He That's what it was. You know what I'm she was trying to make the kids believe because that he wasn't because there's no way you looking at. <laughs> well, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I'm the oldest. I understand. I know shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even way, 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 way back when, when they were younger, we was all younger. I'm sorry, <laughs> because that should have been on vibrate. Okay, so even as, you know, back then as kids, you even know what's being cooked up. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know that. You can smell how, something how different that's going you know on. The periodic table or the how to add a count. You, you know, know how, how much baking it? soda goes into what and how to, how, how to put the fire. Yeah, but Pete, but Pete, you know what I'm saying? You could be in a whole different room, you know, but you just notice that somebody's standing over a stove for too long of a period of time. And you also know that, um, a different smell. That's just like a mother. Yeah, That's just like a mother. Yeah, exactly. That's just like a mother smell weed around her child. Right. They're soon gonna start asking, "What's that?" Right. Right. Well, if my mom do it, then it, obviously it's okay that I do it. Absolutely. You know. And then you have to. That's another topic. Maybe you can get on. The house, the drugs you use in your household. Will your kids use it, or you using them around your kids? Don't you think your kids it's will use it too? Because yeah, 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 he is affected by it, and at the same time, it's like, well, if you do it, it must be it must not be that bad of a thing. Because that's how I looked at it with my mother. Exactly. You know, I looked at my mother still kicking it. You know, she don't look like she have lung cancer. That's the first thing I was thinking about when I first started smoking weed. You know, I was like, um. Uh, my mother still looks good, you know, she's still, her hair looks good, skin looks good, you know, um, she's not in the hospital bed, she don't have lung cancer, you know, that's the first thing a person, a child think of but, anyways. But, when you was that child, cancer. you knew right from on, and you knew that going to school, that you knew smoking weed was bad, regardless of whether your mother did it or not, smoking weed was bad. Yeah, because you was always you taught that. We exactly. knew, you knew that smoking period was, was bad. bad. Okay. Whether it was cigarettes, you knew that drinking, you knew know that drinking yeah. was bad. Well, you know, but no, but, 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 but I want to bring it back to your front, to your previous question. What? Because that's just like a mother knowing damn well that kids is out there selling drugs with them. Then close, you know, keep a blind eye to it. Oh, I don't know. Can I have ten dollars yeah. for some milk? I don't know that, you know, they're doing it. But when it's time for your bills to get paid or your rent to get paid, then it's okay. Right. It's okay. You need a gallon of milk or okay. okay. some eggs. You want to make all these go get it. Okay. Then when money. they see them, they get locked up. Now my son, no. Because you know that your yeah. son doesn't have a job. You know what I'm saying? Where you money we from? already know that the mail. We already know that the mail hustle is majority is selling drugs.